Hello, my name is Pilaf and you probably ought to trim your nails, but it's okay, you can just let them grow during this video, they won't get too much longer. And today, I want to talk about Rainbow Dash. Now before I begin, I know that some of you are thinking, ah, oh, Pilaf, word on the grapevine is that you're not really into the My Little Pony show anymore, so it's not appropriate for you to talk about it. But here's the thing, just because the My Little Pony show doesn't really appeal to my adult sensibilities these days, that doesn't mean that I can't appreciate things when I think about it. Like, for example, I enjoy that in Paw Patrol, there's a dog that drives a bulldozer, because I like to think that he's part of a union. And also, I really like the songs in Dora the Explorer, I'm not afraid to admit it, if you've seen that show, then you know them all by heart, you can't help it. They're freaking catchy, man. Where are we going? Big Mountain. You're going to Big Mountain. Who's not excited to go to Big Mountain? It's a Big Mountain. But anyway, what I was thinking about was Dash's whole thing with the Wonderbolts, like how she got in. Now, if you're not familiar with the show, and I don't know why you're watching me if you're not familiar with the show, but I'm glad you found me. And if you're not familiar with the show, Rainbow Dash is this little flying pony that wants to join this little flying pony group called the Wonderbolts. And they're like a fighter jet team, you know, like the Blue Angels or whatever. Or if there's a group called the Thunderbolts, that's probably more accurate. But the thing about that in real life is that you got to have a degree and you got to be an officer. You know, flying a fighter jet's a big deal. And there's a problem. Rainbow Dash is arguably the stupidest character in the entire show. So the writers, to get this character into her lifelong dream for no reason at all, they had to bend over backwards to figure it out. And what they decided to do was they had an episode where when Dash had to take the written exam to prove she was academically suitable, they said that she was a savant and she memorizes everything she sees in the periphery of her vision. Which as far as I understand would make your brain overheat and melt, so... I suppose that's why she appears to be so stupid, because she's always working overtime to remember completely superfluous details that she's not really paying attention to. Now, this never comes up again. They never again admit that Dash is a savant. So I was thinking about, you know, if instead of doing that episode, they recontextualize things a little bit. What if Spitfire, who is apparently the leader of the Wonderbolts, was sitting around just going, you know what? This Rainbow Dash girl, who's apparently infatuated with me, is pretty famous now because she does this sonic rain boom thing you know she explodes and she saved the world a couple times so if we hired her into the wonder boats we probably get a lot of asses in the seat and we make a ton of ticket money i mean i guess we just have her come in we have her do this sonic rain boom thing so they call rainbow dash in and they sit her down in front of a desk and they say all right we got a special test for you because you're so special and so they put out a bunch of candy generic candy so they don't get sued by the candy companies and they say now rainbow dash you gotta not eat this candy for 15 minutes. And she turns around again and all the candy's gone. And she goes, Rainbow Dash, did you eat this candy? And Rainbow Dash would be like, oh, uh, well, I didn't think that the exam had started yet. So I ate all the candy so I wouldn't be tempted. And Spitfire goes, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna put more candy here. And she puts out more candy on the desk. She turns around. She turns around again and Dash has chocolate smeared all over her face. And Spitfire's like, Dash. And Dash is like, well, I, I, I don't think I got this candy. This chocolate on my face was from last time. And Spitfire goes, okay. And she pours out more candy. And they go back and forth like this, where Dash keeps eating the candy like the instant it hits the table. And finally, Spitfire gets mad. And she's like, why are you so stupid? And Rainbow Dash, being insecure like she is, she glares, she glares down. The screen goes all dramatic like, flattens out. And, and she goes, what do you mean stupid? And at that point, Rainbow Dash decides she's going to willfully fail this exam because she catches on that Spitfire wants her to succeed. So out of pure spite, Rainbow Dash begins to sabotage herself and Spitfire goes through bag and bag and bag of candy and Dash starts to feel more and more sick, but she just got to force it down. She got to do it out of pure anger and pettiness. And so finally, Spitfire goes outside and she's sitting around, she's thinking to herself, she goes, I know. I'll use Rainbow Dash's own weaknesses against her. If she is left alone for more than an hour, she will fall asleep. That's her modus apparatus. And so Spitfire waits around, but she forgot something. Rainbow Dash is full of candy, and it takes six hours. And finally, Rainbow Dash just flops over. Just instantaneously, just the energy runs out, and boom, she crashes. So Spitfire tiptoes out there, dumps a bunch of candy on the desk, waits 15 minutes, and then declares, you did it! Boom! They set off the confetti, everyone's excited, everyone's happy. Oh, Rainbow Dash, you're a wonderful. And then, and then when they have Rainbow Dash go to do a show, they're like, all right, you just come out and you do your Sonic Rainbow. Boom! And then you go sit down over there. And Dash, still feeling petty and angry, then decides to change up the routine. And now, because we have kind of a context of, of distrust between her and the Wonderbolts, it makes sense for her to be petty and stupid and to do the things that she went on to do after she got into the Wonderbolt in the show. I mean, 
Like, we get the same kind of thing with the Wonderbolts are still awful and Dash is still awful and everyone's still awful, but there's enough self-awareness that the show would admit it was awful and, and it would be pretty amusing. And I, I just, because I thought that would be amusing, I figured I'd share it with you. Now, it has no bearing on the show proper because this is clearly not how the show did things. Now, that said, I can already hear the furiously typing responses of people saying, Curse you, Pilaf! Curse you! How dare you say that my waifu is stupid! And you know what, man? She's actually just a flash rig, man. Like, this is the big thing. I can't believe that some people will put their pride and their intellectual honesty on the line to defend a character who basically has like more than a dozen hands up her asses anytime you see her doing anything because she just has the facsimile of life, you know? I mean, like, a flash rig can do anything at all. There's fallibility here because the puppeteers, the puppet masters could screw up and do something weird and inconsistent that would just leave you baffled saying, what in the heck? So anyway, there you go. Now you know. Watch my show. You're free to go.